Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Brutal Skyrim and more of Grizzle's story. I'm your host, PC Outcast, and as you can see, I have a map in my hand. I believe the easiest way to view it is like this. Basically, just hold it like a like shield right in front of you, and you can see most of Skyrim. It's a little bit tricky, but uh, it's pretty much all there. Probably be easier to see this in brighter light. Let me... Oh, there we go. Alright, so... I am thinking... That we this should probably... Head out into the tundra a little bit around Whiterun and get some hunting experience. I think that'd probably be a good idea at this point. Away. Get my. Um, I'll need to. Add those back on. Put these back on. Unequip that. And I think we're good, more or less. Bandage. I. I can't quite remember how bandages work, and that reminds me that um, since the since the last um, or the mod uh, video that I did, um, I have added a few more mods per your suggestions. So the main ones are and they'll be listed in but like by the time this video comes out, um, I will be I will have uh, up. Would you shut up? Trying to have a monologue here. Okay, hang on a second. Let me just get some get water, please. Thank you very much. Need anything else? Just let me know. I think I'm actually. You know what? Just plain thirsty. Some work. Look at this. Some of the yard's men came by and left this bounty letter. Bandit plunderer. Kill the bandit leader located at Bandit Plunderer? What? Um, have you heard any rumors lately? Travel to Halgan. Okay. Let's just step outside where it's nice and quiet and probably pouring rain. Oh, the sun is out! Thank the Lord. Or, the Divines. Thank the Divines. Especially Talos is, is due to the people of White Run worship Talos. I think so. Anyway, let's, um, let's give this a think. Um, so we want to go out and do some hunting. Yes. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those huh. horrors comes here. We'll be ready. What do you mean? Travel to... What? Travel to... Travel to... Travel to Helgen completed. Isolde, was it? What brings you to the market? Okay, okay. There, there's still people talking. There's still people talking. So let's go over here. And... Hunting. Right. Hunting is the plan. Or was I going to talk about mods? I was going to talk about mods. That's what I was going to talk about. Okay, so main mods that I added were high level enemies, which shouldn't actually take effect until I reach level 10. Um, uh, primal Fear, which I completely forgot about in last uh, episode. I could have uh, held out a torch and possibly scared the wolves off instead of fighting them. We'll have to try that out. And the other one is Vigor. Vigor is a combat mod. Con it actually does a whole bunch of stuff. Um, as you might have noticed in the last game, in the last episode, I had no ma um, health regeneration. So that is because of this. So I have the. I did. The only thing I really changed is turning off stamina drain on this, uh, because I already have stamina drain on the fighting fatigue. And 
And yes, I think I left pretty much pretty much everything else the same. <coughs> so this mod, um, like I said, disables health regeneration, but it also does a whole bunch of stuff like NPCs have chance of fortify health potions, armor, damage, resist magic, resist elements, healing potions, stamina potions, and invis invisibility potions. Um, it changes enemy combat AI. It allows parrying, timed blocking, um, st uh, changes stagger chances, and all that kind of thing. There's all all sorts of stuff. So it should make a fairly big difference to... I mean, it's a fairly lightweight uh, combat mod, but it should make a fairly big difference. What? Is... I guess that's... Aldwin? Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's just not think about that. This place is going crazy. Now, um, yeah, we're going to have to get ourselves some more arrows, which we will do outside. Now, thankfully, um, I suppose it's fro part of it's Frostfall, I think. Good for my crops. Never is. That's probably true. I'm not a farmer though, but sounds sounds reasonable. Um, okay, so Frostfall, I believe, adds. So we got these, uh, you know, craft items, um, stone arrows, which you can make from dead wood. So you got to collect dead wood, then you can make uh, arrows directly from that, which is really nice. It's a makes it a lot easier. You could actually start this. Um, this I could have actually started this whole game off naked in the wilderness and been able to actually acquire at least some of the basic hunting items and stuff. So that would have been kind of cool. What else have we got? We've got Scrimshaw, which is part of... Uh, yeah, I need a hunting... Oh, I need a hunting knife. Or a sharp rock. And I'm hungry again. Of course I am. You know, eat an apple, man. You already, you already had. I already ate a venison tenderloin, and what else? I think a gourd, or something. Like, how much food do I need? It's ridiculous. Um. Okay, there's some people. Maybe we should talk to them. I haven't talked to them yet. Far, I have traveled to bring you these fine goods. Come and see what I offer. Hmm? All right. What have you got? Take a look. Probably nothing that I can do anything. Ooh, quarter staff. Nice. Got a iron war hammer, which would also be quite nice. Two-handed sword and a great sword. And I already have one of those. Poisons. A little bit of food. Okay, let's let's they just not worry them. about that stuff right now. I do have some gold, so you know. Sands. Okay, got some more lavender. All right, now let's get out here a little bit, a little bit out into the. Out into the wilderness, if you can call it that, sort of the, you know, the tundra around White Rim. There really should be more farms around here, but anyway, for a spot for a city that is supposed to be as big as White Run, they really should have some more farms going on. Okay, we've got an elk. So let's start off by foraging. And we got a sharp rock, so we can actually skin things now. Um, harvest firewood? Yes, chop dead wood. 
Spend an hour gathering resources. What would you like to do? Dead wood. I need a woodcutter's axe. Okay, I can gather branches. I know that much. And now I'm thirsty. I got some branches. And now with create an item, I can make a stone hatchet, which allows me to get dead wood. Let's try that. Oh, no, no. Let's try that again with... Oh, hang on a second. What's that? Rough bedding? I need a fur plate for some rough bedding. Oh, so I don't need to make that uh, hunter's roll. I can make some, some rough bedding, I guess. I think. I think that's what that means. Drop dead wood. Good grief, I'm hungry now too. Alright. Craft. Some arrows. Nice. This is this is good. This is gonna be good. Alright, I can't I will need more of uh the dead wood for creating fires, but we won't worry about that for the moment. First of all, let's try and eat some stuff. Man, I'm getting hungry in a hurry. Horker loaf, one of those. I am fe feeling well hydrated and sated. All right. Now let's um, let's switch. From our iron iron arrows, which we don't have a lot of, to our stone arrows, which we now have tons of. And I should probably also equip that. Is that now showing on me? Oh yeah, there it is. Look at that. I look looking pretty good. Look at the got the the water skin there, got the hatchet. Unfortunately my arrows clo uh go through my cloak, but that's okay, I guess. All right, it's kind of midday here. You know, we've spent a lot of time just doing that stuff. Okay, let's think about dealing with this. This, uh, uh, I guess I'll put that on there. And do I have, I have healing on there. Okay. Okay, I don't want to get too close to it. Oh! Really, one shot? What? Oh, crap. Uh, um. Okay, so that didn't actually work. I thought I killed it in one hit. Why is my food and water and stuff staying? Staying on. Oh, oh, he's right there. Oh, I got it. Oh, in the butt. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I feel terrible. Okay, there's another one down there. Looks like a bull. Oh. This is probably its mate. Uh, okay. Spotted deer. Okay, well, let's field dress it. It's going to take a while, but... This is pretty, pretty much going to be my entire day, is just, just dealing with this... This deer. I got a ruined pelt. Well, that's that's great. This is yeah. This is this is thirsty work here. Harvest ingredients. And now I'm hungry. How can you get hungry when you're skinning an animal like this? That, and if you're, well, I suppose if you were really hungry, 
If you're really hungry beforehand, you'd be doing this out of necessity. It's nearly been an entire day. But getting hungry while you're doing it, that's just kind of nasty. Oh, I finished butchering one section of it. It'll take more time to butcher the rest. And I'm carrying too much to be able to even run. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Ah. Uh, nice. So nice. Okay, what's going on? I'm hungry. The air is cool. I'm thirsty. I am still rested, though. And I can't really... I can't even carry what I'm what I've got. Well that does weigh quite a bit of what is that, twenty-eight pounds or kilograms or whatever the I don't know what the measurement system is. Um Okay, let's eat a whole horker loaf. Seems a little ex little excessive. Okay, let's eat uh, an apple. That's not gonna help me with my weight I'm yeah I'm kind of over encumbered here what am I going to do what am I gonna drop what can I drop okay I can apparently I can eat the antlers and find out that uh, that gives me a weakness to poison I've got a couple of branches. That is half a pound each. I've got a large animal bone, which is two pounds. I need to get, I need to get, like down ten pounds. I'm gonna have to just drop some of this meat, which is. Ah, uh, I don't feel good about. Oh, I did not mean to eat that. Good grief! Salted meat will not spoil and can safely be eaten, but will increase thirst. Salt it. Oh, okay. So if I salt it, then it won't. Okay, that's interesting. I want to just drop. I have to drop uh, nine of them. Sorry, five of them. Oh, apparently I took damage from something. What did I take damage from? I'm still I'm still not able to run. Ah, oh, come on. I think I took damage from eating the antlers. Like that's what that was all about. Am I still hungry? I'm still hungry. Okay. Let's eat the gourd and drink the water. Okay. Now I'm below my my necessary weight. Yes! Okay, we can make it back to Whiterun. So that was our day. <laughs> Out hunting. And apparently I am poisoned with weakness to poison from the antlers. Yes, 2% weaker to poison damage. That's interest it's interesting. Interesting. So any... I feel really... You know what? Um, hang on a minute. My... Exposure is increased, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to dispose of this deer. Don't want it cluttering the landscape up. Uh, never mind that meat there, that's just... That's just too bad, apparently. Can't do anything about it. Alright, well. First hunting trip and foraging successful took all day literally all day but you know I gained some experience can I collect water from here more importantly is that water safe to drink I can't collect water from here I would further down I mean should be reasonably... Oh, you know what? This could potentially be the sewage outlet for Whiterun. Th 
The good news is that as I get better at hunting, it'll take a lot less time to skin and um, skin and and butcher and whatnot things. I should be able to do some scrimshot, but I will wait until I get inside because um, I I'm kind of cold. I'm starting to warm up. But I'll I'll wait until I get inside. Probably shouldn't do it on the floor of the bannered mare. That would be a bit Um Well, inappropriate. Actually doing it just here too would probably not be the greatest idea either. Where can I do it? Okay, look, I'm just gonna do it over here. Hopefully they won't mind me making a little bit of a mess here. Alright, so with my large animal bone I can create bits of bone. I can create a bone hunting knife. Well that's probably a good idea. That's probably going to be better than the sharp rock, right? I think that's a bone axe. Okay. Well, let's go with the bone hunting knife. Thunderstorm come rolling in? Yep. Okay, I still have the sharp rock, which I believe I can get rid of now cuz I I have the bone the bone hunting knife. Oh, I am Where's my where's the knife? Should be should be visible on me somewhere. No? It should be on there somewhere. Okay, I need to get rid of these foot wraps. And I need to get rid of a lot of I I, I need to be really really careful about what I'm carrying cuz it's just not worth it. Okay, is that uh, is that it for the scrimshaw? Yeah, can't do anything else with that. Um, create an item. Can I do anything else? I already have that. I don't need more of it. I don't think I need. I'm sure, if I need bran, I think I might need branches for making making um, fires with frostfall. Okay, let's turn the ruin pelt into a leather strip. So that's the best we can do. I can break down my empty water skin back into strips. I don't want to do that. Can't make more bandages. So I'll have to be really careful about my use of bandages. And... Got that. I've got that. Yeah, I'm just not sure about that. Oh. Write the book. I can sell that. It's probably fairly late. I don't think I can... I don't think... Bellathor will still be open. No. Alright, well, that is apparently my day. Let's check out. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. She is so friendly. Okay, let's check out Hunterborn. One clean. Skinning level, harvesting level, foraging level, all zero. Because I'm not very good at anything. But just doing that one clean improved my my times here by quite a bit, actually. Well, a little bit. Okay, what can I sell to you? I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. 
I've been thinking of selling the inn to Isolda. Anyway, what do you need? Take a look. Um. Okay, I can sell you some of the meat. It's probably a good idea. I'll sell most of it. Well, all of it? Yeah, I'll just sell it all, because I still have a fair bit of food. I mean, a fair bit. Although, as was just demonstrated, I can actually eat a lot. Um, okay, let me get a refill of water. And anything else? Just let me know. Apparently I'm okay. I should probably just well, go to you. sleep. I mean, whew. What can I do that was you? that was a really wearing, tiring day. Oh. Okay, I was gone so long I have to actually rent it from her again. What can I do for you? Everybody is here. Like, literally, why are your eyes closed? Everybody yes. is here. It must be still relatively early. You know what's wrong with Skyrim these days? You know what? Everyone is obsessed with death. Really? Well met, Kinsman. What brings you to Whiterun? I... I'm... basically passing through. A pity. And words I hear too often, but there's no shame in it. One of them dragons comes calling in Whiterun, the place will go up like tinder. But then he went quiet, did Ragnar the Red, when he met the shield maiden Matilda. Um, so you live here? Aye, that I do. Half all my life. We battleborns have been here since the beginning. Along with the Grey Maids. Our family's been close as kin for generations, but Ulfric Stormcloak's uprising has divided us. Now, seems we can scarce look at each other without coming to blows. Petty and foolish, that. They are saying dragons have returned to Skyrim. Now that there, that's a real problem. Dragons, eh? Interesting. Well, good talking to you. May your sword be sharp and your tongue sharper. <laughs> uh, you know what? Give me some some ale. Give me an ale to celebrate my first successful hunting expedition. I think some mugs need scrubbing. You know, I really should take some of my gear off and make it look like, at least look like I'm Idea, wake up, kind of yes, a friendly sort of person. Let me drink that ale. Yeah, look at. You want a drink? I just bought something. Thank you, though. No, please, no more questions. Look at that face. I'm just. Friendliness personified. Um. My horker loaf is getting a slightly stale. Great. I just sold elk. Alright. I'm gonna call it a day right there. See you in the next episode.